Why do you do these things? Um, well, they're fun. Uh, they help you find your edge. You know, I would, I would say limit, but we don't really want to find the limit. You, you want to find the edge, I think. John is a human dynamo, and he is uh, multifaceted, and they can go off in any different direction. Um, but that's just the way he is. You know, it's over and above. I was probably the the outlier in the group. I was always striking out and one climbing trees and on roofs and setting things <laughs> setting things on fire. <laughs> I grew up near an airport. I had access to airplanes. I started flying when I was 15. Got my license shortly when I was eligible. It was just something I did. In the early 60s, actually 1963, when Jim and I began flying, it was big news. It was, it's easy for an eight-year-old at that time to fall in love with space. That was our fun. Cardboard boxes, rolling down hills, uh, emulating space training, Gemini pilots. So space just became part of the fabric of, of me. And it never left. I'd heard about uh, private astronaut travel uh, before. A little bit of research pulled up Axiom, Axiom Space and their mission. Well, my wife brought it to my attention. She saw the news article of Axiom flying and said, hey, you can finally go to space. And the moment I heard about this opportunity, I knew I would be on board. He's on a mission to encourage young minds to use their imagination. And from there, he says, possibilities are endless. I'm taking a patch for the Middlesbrough Independent School Systems. This is their middle school who this year, last year actually, decided to become a STEM certified school. What I want to do is show teachers and educators the value of listening and paying attention to what is in a student and help nurture what they see in them. It's hard to go against your nature, but if you can listen to yourself and follow that voice, then you have an obligation to nurture that. I'm John Schaffner, and I'm the pilot of AX2.